Hi, uh, Mr. Mathblog here, and this uh, lesson is called Find Unknown Factors. This is lesson 5-2 uh, in the textbook we're following. So all of your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathblog.com. So if, and then scroll over to your third grade link, uh, and you'll find uh, all these lessons in here. So you'll find it lots of other things, too. Okay, so our essential question here is uh, how can we use an array or a multiplication table to find unknown factors, okay? So Blake has a baking tray with 24 cupcakes. The cupcakes are arranged in eight equal rows. So how many cupcakes are in each row? All right. So let's answer these questions here. How many cupcakes are in the tray? Well, it looks like there's 24 cupcakes in the tray. And how many cupcakes are in each row? Well, there's eight in each row. So we're going to make an array here. Uh, so an equation, you guys, uh, is a number sentence uh, that uses an equal sign. So equals, if you see an equal sign, it's called an equation right there. So equal, equation, so uh, showing two sides are equal to each other. So uh, a symbol or a letter can stand for uh, our unknown number. So our unknown number is this question right here. How many cupcakes are in each row? I know this says eight equal rows, but uh, we're going to use an array to demonstrate this, you guys. So here we can write n times 8. So what number times 8 uh, as our equation? That's what this says right here. This says what number times 8 equals 24. And our, it, this is our equation to find out how many cupcakes are in each row. I know I have 8 equal rows, but then 8 times what is going to be 24 to make it, um, uh, you know, what by 8 uh, to get 24. So we need to find the number n, and probably most of you guys already know what number times 8 equals 24. But we can show an array with 24 in, uh, uh, with 8 in each row. So here I have a cupcake tray, uh, 8 going across, so right here. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then I would do another row of 8, and I stopped right here. But 1, 2, 3, and it would be right there, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then how many would that be? 8 plus 8 would be 16. Okay, so um, uh, you don't have to, you know, you're probably not going to have something like that. You'll probably have tiles or little, um, uh, I don't know what kind of manipulatives you have, dimes or pennies or whatever, whatever you have uh, maybe in your classroom uh, to help you uh, arrange uh, 24 with 8 in each row. So, uh, so here's our equation. n times 8 equals uh, 24. n is called a factor, 8 is called a factor, and 24 is called the product of these two factors right here. So this is the number of rows, and then this is the number in, in each row, okay? So there's 8 in this row, there's going to be 8 in this row, and 8 in every row right there. So how many rows of 8 are we going to have to make 24? So uh, we're going to count how many rows of 8 there are, and just, just think of what number times uh, uh, 8 equals 24. Well, hopefully you guys know that um, uh, 3 times 8 equals 24. If I kept doing this, here's 8, and then here's 8 more, 16, and then here's 8 more, uh, 16 plus 8 gets us 24. So the unknown uh, factor is 3, so n must be 3, 3 times 8. And I, I bet probably most of you guys knew that right there, okay? And there's uh, our cupcake tray that has uh, three rows of eight, and there's 24 cupcakes in there. Okay, so just to check, three times eight equals 24. Well, that checks off. 24 equals 24, so our equation is true. So there's three uh, cupcakes in each row, okay, of eight, all right? So don't forget that uh, 3 times 8, you guys, is just uh, 8 plus 8 plus 8. It just means there are three groups of 8. Uh, and if you added 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 8 more is uh, 24. Okay, so multiplication is just a form of addition. 3 times 8 means there's this many, this many right here, 8s. Okay? All right, so um, now that gets us 24. Here's another way. We can use a multiplication table, you guys. And, well, I'm, I'm just telling you, I teach high school math, you guys, and, and my strongest students are the ones that know their multiplication tables, at least up through 10 times 10. So if you don't, and I imagine there's a lot of you guys that don't, and that's okay, um, it would just make, it's going to make your math life so much easier if you can just, you know, start practicing your, your multiplication tables. You know, if I'd start practicing with, you know, twos, two, four, six, eight, ten, and then do, once you got twos down, then try threes. 3, 6, and then 3 times 3 is 9, and then 3 times 4 is 12, and 
3 times 5 is 15, okay? And you just keep adding 3. 3 plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, okay? And then when you do 4s, it just goes 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So this is 4 plus 4 plus 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. Okay, let's go back to this right here. So what number times 8 equals 24? So what you do with this is you go... Uh, the blank stands for your unknown factor. So start at the top where uh, 8 is at the top, and then we're going to go all the way down, slide down to where we get to 24. So right here, we're going to uh, go to 24 right there, and then and then go straight to the left, and then it'll tell you what times uh, 8 equals 24. So here's 8. Go down to your product to find your product, and then go over here to find your other factor. So here's 3 times 8 equals 24 right there. Okay, so the unknown factor is still 3 right there. It's just another way to do that. Well, let's try this, you guys. Find the unknown factors. Okay, so right here this says what number times 4 equals 12. Okay, so think how many groups of 4 equal 12. Well, if I added 4 3 times, that would equal 12. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So 3 times 4 equals 12 because there's 3 groups of 4. So y equals 3. Okay, another way is to just go over here and do this, you guys. So uh, go down to column of 4, and then go down to where 4 meets up with 12, and then slide straight over, and that'll get us 3 right there. Okay, again, if you can just start practicing this, I'm telling you, your math life will be so much easier just knowing this multiplication table. Just start real easy. If you can just commit to doing uh, your factors of 2s today, and then maybe tomorrow you can do your factors of 3s, and then and then do your factors of 4 and so on. So that would just make your life a lot easier, you guys. All right, uh, so here, uh, h plus or h times 7 equals 56. Okay, so what number times 7 equals 56? So let's go down, to, uh, down here to 7 until we get to 56. Okay, so it's going to be right here. So and then just go straight over. So 8 times this 7 right here will get us the 56 right there. Okay, so H, uh, or you can think of uh, there are um, eight uh, sevens added together. Seven plus seven is 14. 14 plus seven is 21. Plus seven is 28. Plus seven is 35. 42, 49, 56. And you can just keep adding with your fingers seven. So there are eight of them. So there's uh, H equals eight. All right, and then uh, uh, what number times 3 equals 21? Uh, 7 times 3 equals 21. Okay, so there's 7 3's added together to get to 21. 6 times 9 equals P. Well, 6 times 9, if you just added 6 9's or added 9 6's, that's going to get you 54 in both cases right there. So P equals 54. All right, you might see a couple that look like this. Uh, 8 times B equals 70 plus 2. So what we're going to have to do is add 72 first, you guys. Add 70 plus 2 to get 72. And then 8 times what number equals 72? 8 times 9 equals 72. So B equals 9. Over here. 4 times S equals 12 times 2, so we're going to have to add 12 or multiply 12 times 2 first, which is 24. And then 4 times uh, 6 equals 24, so S equals 6. Okay? All right, you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic year. Take care.